We're here at Bernie Grundman Mastering today with the one and only Steve Vai. All right. By the way, um, fantastic tech awards and congratulations on getting the Les Paul Award. Yeah, thanks. That was that was a bit of a stunner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, and it was it was quite an honor because I mean, it's, you know, Les everything that he's contributed. The award is a very interesting award because um, it's for technical excellence. It's not you know one might expect that it's for being a guitar player mm -hmm. but it was it was just such a surprise to me that they recognized like you know the 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 gem guitar design that i had done that's you know it's been uh, uh around for 25 years and some of the gear that i've helped develop and um and plus i have like a charity uh that i've had going for many years and um I, it's, it's nice when somebody comes and taps you on the so shoulder and says hey you know what this is pretty cool we're gonna honor you well done uh now you're you're here mastering a new album yes uh, what's uh, what's new what's different what's exciting uh, you were just talking about amy mann oh uh, yeah yeah well you know um i think uh anything we do that's creative if we stick with it for our whole life and we love it we tend to evolve and, and look for different things within the scope of our own flavors so to speak so the work that you know this record for me is it's more of the same but it's a little more evolved mm. it, and that 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 happens you know for any artist i think and um but i've reached out a little bit uh, to some other musicians that i i really like and uh i had this one track and i was trying to write the lyrics and usually it's it's a little difficult for me you know i, I have a couple of tracks on each record that have lyrics and i, I you know i i stress over them <laughs> And I just couldn't get something for this one track. And I'd known Amy in, in college. Oh, she wow. was actually in a band with my girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife. <laughs> and uh, so we've kind of like, I've listened to her music through the years and I've always enjoyed it. And she's like a poet, you know, she's sure. really a, an incredible writer, very, very beautiful. And uh, so I called her or I wrote her and she, she, I sent her this track and she really liked it. And I and asked her if she wanted to sing on it with me and it turned out really great. It was really nice to rekindle a, an mm -hmm. old relationship and actually, be able to work with somebody because usually I sit in my own little private Idaho and you know yeah collaboration can surprise everyone yeah it was such an enjoyable experience you know and then I have this one track um, John the Revelator I did a version of that it's an old like spiritual blues except you know with octave dividers on the guitar <laughs> and I got Beverly McClellan who was a season one finalist on The Voice Mm -hmm. And she's just this amazing gal that's that just is just so filled with life and energy. And when she sings, it it hits you right in the face. And she tore it up, man, just totally tore it up. Oh. So I've collaborated more on this record than usual. When's this coming out? Uh, August. August. Yeah. You have a I'm title shooting. for the album? Yes, it's called "The Story of Light," and it's the second part of a um, of a uh, uh, three part sort of concept record I'm working on mm -hmm. or concept project and uh, the name of the project is Real Illusions and um, this is the second sort of installment it's not in order or anything mm -hmm. but it, it has an uh, evolving story that unfolds cool yeah. now I'm looking over at the wall there's a picture I took of you with Bernie it must be 15 years ago oh wow because it's film and everything's digital yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've been coming here for a while. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? I mean, Bernie's been in business for, I mean, he's been doing this for well over 40 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's extraordinary. Yeah. And he, you know, for me, and I've worked with other people, but um, just Bernie has this intuitive, uh, you know, ear. And he's still excited about what he listens to. You know, he still yeah. takes great care. He doesn't brush anything off. He takes great care. And, and that's a sign of a real... Um, you know, a very artistic person because yeah. they're still when when you can retain your excitement and still kind of work to make yourself, uh, you know, make your work better and better and better. I mean, that's so beautiful, and and he does that. And every time I come, he you know he takes great interest in what he's doing. Maybe he likes music, maybe he doesn't, but he still does his best. He's the best. He's the best. You know, yeah. and and what's really interesting also. He still buys music and listens to it. Oh, I know. Isn't that amazing? Like I walked in there, he said, "Hey, did you hear this? Uh, you know, Bartok uh, 
um, con, you know, for concerto for orchestra. Mm. And I'm like, I do know that. He goes, but you have to hear this recording. I just got it. And I got all the work. And it's like, wow, it's so refreshing to be with somebody that's excited about music. And he listens to it all day. Every kind. So he's very rich. He also has a nice espresso bar here. It's the best. It's really good. Now, uh, you're going out on it's tour. really good. <laughs> <laughs> you're going on tour. Yeah, yeah. What, a year and a half you're going out? Yeah, yeah, because I haven't been on tour. You know, it's, it's kind of an interesting thing. I, uh, I was on tour for years mm-hmm. when I was with those big rock bands in the 80s, like you know, Frank, Zapp, Frank Zapp and Dave Roth and Whitesnake. And I had children, and I missed a lot of their, you know, just mm-hmm. from going away. And coming back and working and going away, I mean, you know, we, I took them on tour at times and all, but then I got to a point where uh, probably about six, seven years ago, I said, you know what, I'm going to slow down. And uh, my last tour was five years ago, if you can imagine that. Hmm. Yeah, five years ago. The fans are hungry. Well, so am I. <laughs> and I'm really uh, looking for, I love touring. I really love it. Uh-huh. So I just, I'm, I'm, and my, now the boys are in college, you know, so now I'm just going to go out there and blow up the bridge, man. I start in Europe for two and a half weeks with Satriani on G3 yeah. in July 2012. And then I come back. I'm in America for eight weeks, take a week off, eight weeks in Europe, take a, a month off. And then I'm out. You know, I, I'm so lucky. I'm so fortunate because there's guitar players all around the world in every corner that love to come out when other guitar players come. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I can go to places like Russia, all over Russia. And, and I'm very well known there, you know, because... Mm-hmm guitar players and they they come and south africa india we my, the itinerary takes us all through uh you know the the baltics and greece and and um estonia latvia lithuania you know and and then all through south america and it, it's a real world tour and it's so great to be able to tour like that well it really ties together the globe doesn't it yeah yeah and i got this great project that i want to do when i when i get out on tour and i get to some of these odd places mm-hmm. Um, but it's a little early to talk about it. We'll catch up later. I get myself in trouble. (laughs) All right, listen, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, We wish the best. Look forward to the album. Thank you very much. Take care. All right. Bye.